Well, the Singapore Tourism Board says the number of new licenses issued last year to travel agents here is comparable to pre-pandemic figures. But whether they are new or established players, agencies are upping their game to attract Chinese tourists here after China reopened its borders earlier this month. Besides creating new itineraries, they're also calling for service standards at attractions to improve. Tan Sihui with this report. Lazarus Island and Pulau Ubin. These are places familiar to Singaporeans. Now, some travel agencies are hoping to include them in itineraries to woo Chinese tourists looking for more unique and photo-worthy tour offerings. The first batch of travellers are always those like high spending and experienced traveller. They don't really want to like experience those like they visited previously before. So what they want is like new experience. We are not only the previous garden city, we also have something different. We also have our back end gardens. We also have other islands. So this may help for those experienced travelers. They may venture more. Chinese visitors make up 40% of Hong Tai Travel's business. It expects to see a bigger wave in March after the Chinese New Year period. And the agency will be turning to live streaming services to advertise its tours. Other players too are hoping for a slice of the tourism pie. According to the Singapore Tourism Board, more than 190 new licenses were issued to travel agents over the last three years. Nearly half of them were given out last year. That's slightly below pre-pandemic levels. STB adds that as travel resumes, there's more interest in tour offerings. The number of mainland tourists travelling to Singapore to soak in the Chinese New Year festivities increased by 500% compared to the previous year. This is according to travel website trip.com. But Singapore faces stiff competition from Southeast Asian countries like Thailand as it came up as a top destination for Chinese tourists during the same period. So local travel agencies are urging tourism industry players to up their service standards. When the attractions or the hotels are, short, uh, are facing a shortage of manpower, what happens is definitely the service level will not be up to par some of the attractions, so they are not opening up daily. Some of them are, they are only running at about 80% or 60% of their pre-pandemic level. And if the hotel doesn't serve our, or the attraction doesn't serve our, our, our customers well, we, end of the day we will get complaints from them. And as concerns over the COVID-19 virus remain, Mr Fu says his staff will continue to wear masks during tours. So far, the health ministry says it does not expect a surge in infections and continues to monitor the situation.